welcome everybody to the Rudy Christmas Holiday Special, everybody. Brought to you by a very kind person, my patron Kevin S. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's rare. Probably one other time in the seven years in this channel, six and a half years, we have opened a box of Urzas. Today we return for a full $10,000 box of Urzas Legacy on this holiday special, ladies and gentlemen. Quality has been assured. You can see the quality number. Nice little wiggle wiggle. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax. Welcome to the Ultimate Thunderdome. Today, $10,000. Kevin, good luck. So, <laughs> the golden age of reserve list cards. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the, oh man. Happy birthday to everybody who's sitting there and enjoying this moment. How do we fold this? All right, let's, let's, we gotta, we gotta go all the way. We gotta enjoy the full presentation, everybody. There it is, Urza's Legacy, the very first magic set in history to even have foil cards, to have just, maybe it's not your birthday, but we thought you deserved a little something. 143 cards, Urza's Legacy, highly collectible premium version and also in their standard. Bust open these boosters and you could find cards enhanced with a distinctive holographic foil. The very first foil ever. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a very special event. The quests for the deranged hermits and the grim monoliths. Here we go, folks. Not messing around here. Big money, no whammies. The foil cards are worth ridiculous amounts of money. We'll look at the beautiful commons on the first few packs. It's a nice nostalgic throwback because they look gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Camera settings look good. Lighting looks perfect. And we are going to have a good time. <sighs> Brings back memories. Rudy the Toad. Uncommon, by the way. Yes, silver uncommon. They actually are uh, color-coded in Urza's. All right, folks. War Machine, rare number one. And... Radiant Archangel. Absolute stunning reserve list mint condition angel. Godly. Stunning. Look at the hair and wings on her. Pack one. Not bad. Not a bad start, folks. Not a bad start. All right, Kevin. Come on. We're looking for spice. Oh, man. Here we go. <sighs> Miscalculation. Goblin medics. Another intervene. Bounce face. Angelic. Sleepers. Weather. Oh, foil common, hiding in the middle of the pack. That caught me off guard. Original, oh man, the grunts. Foil common from Urza's Legacy. I forgot, they put the foil in that particular slot. Ooh, fairy conclave. Man, boys, this spring, was this 98 or 99? What year was this? This is 99. Oh my God. A fairy conclave in the green specialty land, in my opinion, were the best. Ooh. Fantastic harmonic convergence and a rivalry for rare number two. Come on here. So obviously you get one foil rare per box. And if you hit a foil reserve list rare, ladies and gentlemen, you hit it big. As of the filming of this video, a foil grim monolith in near mint to mint condition that's gradable starts, the cheapest starts at $4,000. If you get it graded, and you get a PSA 10 or 9.5 or something, oh man, it's more than the, it's more than 10,000 if you can get a gem mint, oh my goodness. And, oh, foil dream! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Foil, ladies and gentlemen, a foil hermit! Unbelievable! Early on, we have, ladies and gentlemen, a pack fresh, near mint to mint, foil deranged hermit. This sucker's gotta be 500 bucks, man. Absolutely. Wow. Oh. Yeah, okay, a couple things to go over. Um, pack fresh like this, get them graded. Amazing. Number two, a lot of people used to get freaked out because the corners in some of these would be more square instead of rounded. That's normal, as you can see from a pack fresh card. Just be aware of that. Holy crap. What a video. Dude, what a way to end 2021, everybody. Oh, man. Dude, Kevin, that's like in the top five most expensive cards in the set in foil. That is, dude, you can't, oh man. It's not a grim monolith, but it's still amazing. 
All right, here we go. Heretic, ooh, Watchtower, Uncommon Land. Tinker, one of the best Uncommons ever in blue. And Mrs. Purify. Beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful piece of art. Man, we are only a couple packs into this video, and wow, what a video, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, Crop Rotation. One of the infamous commons. Frantic Search, amazing common. Some of these commons in actually minty condition, there's people actually grade them too. It's kind of crazy. Avalanche Riders, that brings me back to Rudy's teenage years. I used to play with that card all the time, although Echo, I, I didn't like it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! This is, dude, I'm, oh my god. Grim Monolith. <laughs> Best card in the set! Whoa, you can have your own little area up there. Oh my god. It's a Christmas miracle, folks. Tiny Timmy is happy. Little Timmy is out of control right now. Out of control, man. Lava Axe. Curator. Denouncer. Rudy the Toad. Here we go, folks. Keeping it up. Last Ditch. War Machine. Come on, baby. We got black. We got black. And all right, all right. Um, not Excavator. I think it was like Exvigorator or something. I don't know. Rudy doesn't know how to speak English. I don't know if that one's reserved list. I'm not actually sure. I cannot remember. All right, so we've seen the commons. We're going to start looking for another crop rotation. <laughs> the Beebles. There's such a me. People love that card, man. All right, Uncommon. Sponge. Heretic. Green, green, green. Might of Oaks. Oh, God. The 7-7 seven, seven Pumper. Dude, the giant squirrel would wreck so... Dude, people would put that thing down at instant speed and just wreck people's day. What a what a memory on that one. All right, here we go. Hope and glory. Reclamation. Link. Oh, artifact. Come on, Grim Monolith times two. Grim Monolith times two. Oh, memory jar. Come, oh, my God. We're getting all the goodies. Look at the pools of this box. This is crazy. Minty Grim, Minty Pack Fresh Memory Jar, Foil Hermit, holy crap, what a box opening, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing video today. Oh man, Phyrexian. Rank and file, and a nice crawl space. I don't, again, those are some of the, I think, what are like 30 or 40 rares in this set, and like 20 of the 40 rares are like 5 bucks and above or something? It's crazy, man. And again, a lot of people grade these things. This is there's a there's a pretty big following in that. Green, all right. Oh, Meltani Morose Sorcerer. We are hitting every iconic card in this set. Ah, oh, I wonder if uh, Kevin, if you don't mind, uh, comment below or send a mate, uh, message to me or anything. I'm curious. Are you gonna grade this? Are you gonna grade all these things? Are you like what? I wonder what your goal is. What are you gonna do with it? All right, here we go, folks. Coming in, coming in hot. Shivan Phoenix. This was this was a thing back in the day. I hated this card though, but that was a thing. I, I didn't I, I thought it was too expensive. I thought I was just like, you know what? For a six drop, right? That's six. Yeah. For th I just I didn't like it. I didn't I never liked that card. Never a fan. I thought it was overpriced. Oh! Foil Oh wait a minute. I forgot. I can't really skip the commons because there can be a foil common hiding in the front. I gotta go back and check that real quick. We got wow, all of our foils are green. Is anybody noticing that? That's kind of crazy. Treetop Village for the first appearance of the day, everybody. Best of the uncommon land cycle right there. And Goblin Welder. Man, this card is so... Dude, that is an epic. I'm, I'm going to put all the iconic cards. I want to lay them out just for memory's sake. Do we? I just want to check real quick, folks, in these commons. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any foils. I forgot they can slip the foil common in there. Um, no, okay. I just want to check in the last two packs. Because I totally forgot that they, we gotta actually, I'm not used to that, man. And of course, the very first printing of Roncor. Roncor, everybody. All right, let's just swap through those commas just to double check there. Oh, snap! Phyrexian, here we go. Treetop Village times two. Rudy the Lone Wolf. And a Wheel of Torture. Good. Ugh. Man. I cannot believe we started this video off. And we just started nailing all the hits in this product. Just absolutely just the odds. I was just like, please, I hope we get one of those cards. Frantic Search. Last Ditch. Levitation. Ooh, Opportunity. That was, I used to love that card. I know it was a high casting cost, but draw four was massive. Man, artifacts like crazy today. Urza's Blueprints. Loved this card. I know. Got to pay six. And it's got Echo. You got to pay six again next turn. But dude, you can draw an extra card every turn. 
And if you have other things where you can untap an artifact, you can just draw cards. Like, I've always felt card draw is the most powerful, underappreciated mechanic in Magic. Of course, when I was younger, obviously, now that I'm older, and obviously that's true, and everybody knows that now, but I remember years ago, I just remember thinking card draw was just ridiculous. Ye who draws the most... Oh, oh hit the camera. Ye who draws the most cards always wins at Magic. So that was kind of always my thing. All right, here we go, folks. Into the rare. We got red. And pending disaster. Impending disaster. So we are about 12 minutes in this video. Kevin, we got a home run video for you. I mean, we've already hit tons of goodies. And uh, I'm very curious. Ooh, Mother. That's right. Mother of Roots was an uncommon back then. Original artwork Mother, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the Thrawn Lens. This card I always thought was underappreciated. Um, I'm not sure if this one was reserved less, but I couldn't believe how under... Nobody liked this card. Everybody was like, what a waste of a card. Why would you play it? I always thought that... I always thought that card had room for shenanigans in the future or some sort of combo with future card. I always thought that thing never was a properly appreciated. God, the crop rotations. We're getting tons of crop rotations in this. Lone... It's like a fifth of Lone Wolf we've had, too. Another Fire Eater. Oh, Fairy Enclave with a double tap. Uh, white, okay, white, white, and, ah, uh, planner collapse, uh, all right, all right. Not one of the best rares in the set. So we are approaching halfway through this legendary Christmas special, everybody. I don't know when you're going to be watching this video in the future, but absolutely iconic. Uh, three foils so far, which is about right, because foils were really tough to get. Oh, another artifact, wow. And Scrappity Heap, um... There were people doing, I, 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 never a fan of Scrap Heap. I'm not even going to defend that card. Was never, never really thought that was ever going to do much. And to this day, I don't think it ever really did a whole lot. This card never really did much for me. Crop rotation again. More Beebles. Here we go. Sustainer. Ooh, the red. Okay. The red uncommon land encampment. Not the good one. Um, but we actually got all the land cycle, I think. Red for, oh, duplicate rivalry. Ooh, that sucks. All right, all right. So we started off strong. We're coming out a little weak now. Hoping we pick up some speed here in a minute. Angels. Peace and quiet. Raven familiar. And <laughs> Anthroplasm. I love this, dude. I love this ridiculous card. I know, I know. The fact you have to remove the counters and then you have to repay to re I know, you can't stack the counters. It's not like you can do X-Tap and add counters. You always have to reset it, which is what kind of made the card suck. But I still loved it. I always thought there was room for shenanigans. If you didn't have to reset the counters on that card, dude, that would have been crazy back in the day, man. All right, Raven. Ooh, Spawning Pool. All right, I think... Okay, that's the full land cycle, then. All right. Another artifact. Okay. Defense Grid! Original print Defense Grid, ladies and gentlemen. Original print. Holy crap, we got the trifecta up here. OG Defense, OG Memory, and Grim Monolith over here. Dude, amazing. We got about 12 packs left, everybody. We're, we're not we're not giving up here. Another wow, another crop. Dude, you probably got like a hundred dollars worth of common cards in this box. All right, here we go. Toolbox, come on, baby. Green. Ow, oh, hidden creepy perverted monkey Rudy guys. Ah, that was a swing and a miss, everybody. Oh man, here we go. Come on. Any no foils hiding there? All right, all right. We should be due for another foil card here. It's been about uh, six, seven packs since we've hit a foil. Angel Shrummet, Bone Shredder, Infamous. Another artifact. Jeez. Okay. Urza's Blueprints. Okay. So we got duplication on the uh, actual artifacts. And actually, it's uh, duplicate rivalry and a duplicate Urza's Blueprints now. That's uh, pretty unusual. Duplication back in the day on some of these sets was not very common. All right. Here we go. Uh, Wing Snare. Oh, uncommon fairy foil. Oh, God. She's a flipping. Gorgeous piece of art. Look at this thing. Illustrated by Val. Original. And an Iron Maiden. Another artifact. Wow. Very... Uh, oh, my God. We are hitting epic. Amazing. And very expensive. Foil uncommons and rares in this box. I knew we were due for another foil. I knew we were due. Holy smokes. Fire Eater. Rebuild. Another Mother of Runes. And uh, duplicate rare again. All right, last 12 packs of the box opening, ladies and gentlemen. We are at four foils, including uh, foil uncommons and foil rare. Don't We should have one or two more foils hidden in this box. Rack and Ruin, love that card. Cutthroats. And no mercy. This was, okay, um, this is an interesting card. I always thought there, there was, this was really underappreciated. I don't know if that card ever went up or did much. 
But I that was a card I remember speculating on and being a big fan of in the late 90s. Just saying. Another, wow, wait. What is that? Um, I think six crop rotations and like six frantic searches. Opportunity. Another mother of runes. Wow. And all right, here we go, folks. Blue. All right, delusions of mediocrity. Um, kind of remind me of the illusions of that illusions card in uh, Ice Age. The gain 10 life, lose 10 life thing, and you donate it and all that kind of thing. What's the other card in the set that we're... Oh, Mr. P! We haven't hit Mr. P, the big blue dude. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, isn't there another major hit in this set? Um, in Urza's, I can't... Dude, there's so many good hits, I keep getting confused. Bone Shredder. Red. Ah, Pyromancy, swing and a miss on there. Yeah, it's Mr. P, the dude, you know, what was it, like 7 drop, 4, 5 flyer. Blue creepy dragon guy comes into play, you untap your stuff. Dude, oh! Right to the foil common, Rudy the Tree. His face and giant nose looks like me. Foil, no, oh my god, all the foils are green. And, except one land, but okay. And a damping engine. Well, that's just the damnedest thing. That is not what we're looking for. Folks, we are getting down towards the end, Kevin. We got a couple packs. What do we got left here hiding in the corner? We've got, all right, we got six packs hiding left over here. All right, make sure no other uh, hidden foils there in the common slot. Last, engineered. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, I thought we had Mr. P. Anthroplasm. All right. All right. Thought we were getting Mr. P there. Thought we were going to hit a Mr. P. We did not hit a Mr. P. Come on, baby. Mr. P it up. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, snap. Ruby X. Come on, baby. Cut the throat. Oh, Multani's presence coming through. Uh, that is literally how I looked in middle school. Foil uncommon. And Beast the Bob. Oh, man. Dude, I didn't. I look. This was kind of one of the uh, main characters, artworks, and symbolic of the set. I called him Bob. A lot of other guys here in Florida called him Bob, B-O-B, -B, or Beast of Bird. I didn't like Bob. There were people like, oh, I'm building a Bob deck. I, you know, I, I just, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan of Bob's. Never did much for me. I just thought it was too expensive. To, I just didn't like it. Move some comments. I don't want to knock them over. All right, because some of those comments are actually, have some good value. All right, Toolbox, Knighthood, Elk, and No Mercy. Okay, hey. If we're going to get duplication, hey, we're going to get them on things like that. So we have another absolutely fantastic box opening today. No defective cards, no misprints. Actually, beautiful, beautiful condition, everything. No, I mean, just stunning centering, stunning cards. And here we go, folks. Into the close. Quick silver amulet. Original printing. Ah. Ah, up into the artifact. Hall of Fame you go. Memory jar, defense grid, amulets, and monolith. Three packs left into the close. The only thing we're missing is Mr. P. Maybe he will pop out and give us a nice about face into the close here. Come on, Mr. P. Oh, my God. Maybe one more foil, please? Multani. Treats up. Ah, oh, duplicate pyromancy. Awful. Oh, man, these packs. Oh, great video, man. Oh, amazing box opening. Here we go. Into the close. We're hitting 20 minutes now. Spawning. Peace and quiet. Oh, another defense! Mm. Mm. Double defense, baby. Double Ds for the Rudy save on the double defense grid. Up into the Artifact Hall of Fame. Man. Double defense grid. Last pack of the box. Kevin, thank you for the experience. Hope everyone around the world enjoys this holiday Christmas special. And as always, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And Merry Festivus to the rest of us. Ladies and gentlemen... This is for all the tacos in the party pack. It is blue. Come on, Mr. P for the close. Mr. P for the close. Oh, it's a Mr. P for the close. <laughs> oh, God, we did it. Oh, I threw him on the ground. We now have a heavy blade. Damaged Mr. P. Oh, man. Oh, what a video. Amazing. Absolutely incredible video. Oh, my God. I never, gonna, I never want to open another Urza's Legacy box. We will never top this video for Urza's Legacy. This is the video for the best box opening of 2021. Ah, oh, man. Thanks for watching, folks. As always, thank you for all the support around the world, the patrons, the views. Always appreciate the honor, the privilege to entertain. And again, everybody, thank you for an amazing 2021. And uh, we have some other massive videos coming. We got some Alpha Flesh and Blood, Kickstarter, 
Oh, Kickstarter MetaZoo. We got some other old vintage magic box openings that are about three to five thousand a box. We got some major hits coming to wrap out an amazing 2021. I hope everyone is just enjoying it. Remember, it's a beautiful world out there, everybody. Do not surround yourself with bad people. And like I said, try not to just turn the news off, walk away from social media, go outside, go hug a tree, dig a hole, jump in the ground, be a carrot, look out for lawnmowers. You all have an amazing 2021, and I wish everyone the best.